sometimes in WordPress, you have a parent-child relationship with pages, but you don't want the parent page to actually be rendered. You just need it for hierarchy uh, reasons, uh, specifically with the navigation. So in this example, I have a parent page and a child page. And what I want to do is have the parent page link to the child page, but I still need the parent page to exist in the navigation. There's a lot of ways to handle this, but the way that I like to do it is with advanced custom fields and using a custom template. If you go into your themes folder and make a new template, so I'll do that right here. I'm gonna call this redirector.php. And then using WordPress's API, you need to then make a template by doing, let's close that out, template name. And then whenever you wanna call this template, you just call it right there. So I'm gonna call this redirector. And you don't have to call it the same name as the file, but that's something I just like to do. And I'm just gonna add hello world right here. Let's close out the PHP tag first. Okay, so we're gonna use this template later on, but I need to make it first so that in advanced custom fields, I can select it as an option. So if I go into my parent page and edit the page, I'm gonna go ahead and update the template to be the redirector template, just to make sure it's wired up correctly. So update, view page, awesome. And as you can see, nothing is being rendered on the page except for hello world. And that's because I'm not loading in the WordPress loop or anything about the page, which is fine because we don't need that since this template is only gonna be used to redirect to the child page or actually any page. The next step is to go to your dashboard and within advanced custom fields, make a new field group. And for consistency sake, I'm just gonna call it redirector. And I'm also gonna call the field redirector. And here I'm gonna look for the link field type. Gonna make sure it's required. And I'm gonna only return the URL, I don't need the array. Now this is why I made the template first, which is because we only wanna show this field if the post template is equal to redirector. If we didn't make the template first, this wouldn't appear and we would have to go back and add the template and update this. So it's just easier to do it that way. So now that we have the field, we wanna go ahead and redirect the page to the value that's assigned to that field. So if I go to the parent page, which I actually need to go in through the dashboard since I am not loading anything on that page right now that's helpful. So there's no edit link that renders. Down here, there's the redirector field and that's because the template is set to redirector. So here, we can actually have it redirect to any page, but I'm gonna have it go redirect to the child page and we'll go ahead and add it and click update. Now in our template, we're gonna to want to take the value from the redirector field and use that to redirect to the page. So what I like to do first is just make sure I'm actually getting the value. I, I removed the closing bracket for PHP because now we're gonna be using PHP. Whereas before I just was printing out uh, plain text. So that's why I closed it out. So we're gonna use get field. And get field is from advanced custom fields. And I know that I called that field redirector. So let's see, we have that. And then I'm just gonna echo out the value of the URL. So if we view the page, we're seeing the URL that we set in the redirector field. And again, we, we can set this to any URL, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna use the child page. So now that we know this has a field in it, we're gonna want to do an if statement just to make sure that there is a value and then we're gonna redirect to that page. If not, if there isn't a value, we're just gonna redirect to the home page. 
I'm going to use the WP redirect method, which is provided by WordPress. Uh, you can see this example here, and actually they use a URL there, which is perfect. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. So what this is saying is if there's a URL set in the redirector field, WordPress will redirect that URL, and then you have to make sure to pass it exit. If not, we can just redirect to the home URL. Oops. Home URL. And you know, let me make sure that's actually a valid function. So WordPress home URL. I want to make sure that's right. Okay. Retrieves the URL for the current site. Okay. And that's just personal preference. Um, but you can have it go anywhere. And again, you need to pass it exit. So now if I go to the parent page, it should redirect to the URL that we assigned in the redirector field. So parent page, I'm assigning it to the child page. Let's just click update just to make sure everything's working. And if I click view page, it should redirect to the child page. Awesome, it did. And to make sure things are wired up correctly in the navigation, I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, parent page and it should again you know, let's go to the home page to make sure it actually works um, and it's not just refreshing the child page so parent page child page I'm gonna go ahead and click parent page and it should redirect to the child page awesome and the good thing about this is it's easy to maintain um, you know for a content editor and they also you know it, it's flexible whereas you don't have to have it always redirect to the child page maybe you want to have it redirect to a different page it's flexible like that and if for whatever reason you forget to assign that field of value, you at least have a fallback where it can redirect to the home page or another page that you wish.